strike. Yep, we've got a squid on. That's actually a decent squid. There you go, a beautiful whiting. We are back on the jetty. It's pretty wet as there has been a lot of rainfall and there will be. This explains the gear that I'm using. And today we're chasing some King George whiting again and possibly some squid too. This morning we did head down here for a quick squidding session and we did manage some squid. That's gonna be our fresh bait. Yep, float's going under. Strike. Yep, we've got a squid on. That's on the whole yakka. It's not bad. No followers? That's actually a decent squid. It's a really good squid. Yes. Oh. You beauty. That is a good squid. There we go, guys. That's a beautiful southern calamari. Just on the float, on the beta jig. And there we go. All right. Quickly chuck our all the ink quickly chuck our um bait back out hopefully yeah bait's in ready to go Luke's just come back with a nice little squid there so we're stocking up on some bait and uh we're going to convert it into some beautiful King George whiting, let's hope anyway. As you can see guys, we'd managed a couple of nice squid this morning and we managed a couple more too. So here we got one of the squids. Not a bad size at all. So that's going to be our bait for this afternoon. And hopefully that can convert into some beautiful King George whiting. Alrighty, to start off, we're going to use the candles of this beautiful squid. Just going to cut it, cut it off there. And we've got some beautiful bait here. So just going to cut it in small pieces. This will probably be around 10 baits. And once we finish that, we'll go through the other tentacles and um, then get to the body if we've got some bait left over. Just set our other rod up now. This one's just your standard whiting rig. It's got a bit of um, length in that leader and it's got a single hook on. The other one's a Paternoster rig with two hooks. For this one, we'll just go the single as I prefer this rig to cast out and get your distance. So that's done there. Now I'll just cast this one out. like so, just let it hit the bottom, just hit now, grab one of our rod holders, loosen that up, Should be all right, or just a tiny bit more. Mm. 
that's ready. Now just tighten it up. That's ready to go. Put our rod in. Number two, out there ready to get smashed. Grab a sinker out. Use that one there. Now with the rig that I've done, so I've got two circle hooks on. It's got a loop on the end of the rig. And the way I've done that is so I can change different sinkers if I need to. So you just pull that and that's on there ready to go put some bait on one that's two Now this outfit's actually a little bit different. It's a uh, side cast reel, and it's a fairly long rod. So just gotta set that up for a second. All right, so to cast this, what you wanna do, if I can remember, switch that around, click that in, reel turns, hold it. And then when you fling, fling the rod out, let go. Beautiful. Now we just hook it up here. And that's another line out. Luke's on. My phone's on the esky, so watch it. This is biting through, isn't it? Oh, you got this. Which side is it? I think it's a wider. Hopefully it's a wider. It is. Hopefully it's a wider. Oh, Luke, it's a widening. Thumper. Beautiful. That is what we want. Beautiful white. What it's been eating. Sandwich. That's what it's been eating? Oh, some worm. Just in the corner of the mouth there. There you go, a beautiful whiting. One on the board, good stuff. Show you guys. Successful day today though, huh? Yeah. Most humane way. Kill fish. Straight in there, and he's gone. That's the best way to look after your catch. That's your dinner tonight, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we get a few more. Yeah. Do you normally get quite a few though? Uh, hit and miss. I haven't been here for, you know, quite a while now. Um, but yeah, that's a good start. So yeah, a few more and they'll, they'll be a good dinner. <laughs> oh, I want to get some bites. Probably just some rust, so just leave it in there. Just in case the whiting let it eat it. Just throwing some uh, burly pellets. Should bring some fish in. It's like a couple handfuls out. Luke's actually on right there. What do you reckon? Ting? Ting or rust? If your line's straight whiting. down there, it's a Sitting whiting. It. Yep, that's a whiting, the way it's going. Yeah, little one. Yes, that's a ting. Still on the board. One little set of clouds just come now. 
little bit of rain, but um, not as predicted. There should be some big rain coming. Um, hopefully we missed a little bit of it, but um, it might be just starting. Missed a stingray down there. Cut some more baits out. Take the wings off. Now, since we've got a square base to work with, just going to cut some strips. That's one, and that's about three baits there. So one, two, and three. And there we have it. Perfect whiting bait. Yep, getting some bites on here. Yep, got him on. Phone's ringing. Leather jacket. Bouncing on the surface. There we go, we got a leather jacket. You on? What do you reckon? Little Rass? You reckon it's a whiting? Yeah. Oh, what is that? Why is it so far? It's got some surface? slime. Well, you got this. You got this rod. What is it? A grassy? Grassy. Yeah. Oh, it's just your sinker that's around it. Pull through. Should come straight off. That's done. Nice grassy, actually. Beautiful grass whiting. Look at the colours in that guy. Now this one's actually a female. When they're more in that blue sort of colour, that's when they're the males. But that's a nice grass whiting. This one's just getting some bites now. Probably a leather jacket or another rass. Got him on. What do you reckon, rass or leather jacket? It's a Senator rass. These guys don't get too big, but they have amazing colors. Put him in the sun. Oops. Have a go at those colours. Off he goes. Alright guys, we've just come to the end of the pier now and we're gonna try for some whiting down here. Wind has picked up, sun's out at least, so we're gonna get our baits in the water and see if we can get into a few whiting. Alright, we'll flick on the end, have a few casts of the jig, that's just the Inky Dynamite. As you guys know, it does work a treat. So, flick it in. It's a bit windy now, I'm not going to lie, just pushing my braid out. 
but if you put your rod tip down, it does help a lot. Yes, we have a squid on. Definitely not too big, but some fresh bait. Hooked him on two candles. We'll just net him anyway. How cool is that? Had a couple casts and um, a nice little squid. And that's on the Inky Dynamite. It's actually not too bad, eh? Nice squid. There we go, guys. A nice little squid. Just on the dynamite. And um, that is some more fresh bait. And hopefully that can convert into some nice King George White. Yep, we've got a fish on. Hopefully it's a whiting. Yeah. Oh no, it's a red mullet. Oh, that's all right. I'll be happy with one of them any day. Look at the colour on that, nice and pink. Alright guys, that's a wrap for today. We started off catching some squid in the morning, use that for bait, and we got a couple of whiting, leather jackets, grass whiting, wrasse, all different species, so a bit of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.